Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today to go over our new Google Sheets integration. We're going to be walking you through best use cases for this and um, a little bit of a demonstration for you guys here today. So that way, hopefully you can go back and streamline some of your processes. A little introduction, my name is Hazel Crawl. I'm a client engagement specialist here at GoCanvas. My role is to help our self-serve clients on the back end after um, onboarding to make sure they are successful in their uses. And then Lauren Sunday is our online community manager. So she's actually been here for two and a half years. She has been a CSM. Now she is managing our help center for you guys. So you'll probably see her name popping up in that help center. But I'm actually gonna throw it over to Lauren to go through our, go through our demo today and let you guys know everything about our Google Sheets integration. Hello everyone, and thank you Hazel for that lovely introduction. Like Hazel said, we will be discussing the Google Sheets reference data integration that GoCanvas released recently and why it's a game changer. As a quick refresher, reference data is a feature of GoCanvas that allows admins and designers to upload lists of customers, parts, pricing, etc. So fields can be auto-populated for your mobile users. The possibilities are endless for applying reference data to save time and maintain data integrity while using GoCanvas. So what is Google Sheets? Google Sheets is a product within the Google Suite that is a collaborative spreadsheet program similar to Excel, but instead of only being accessible on your desktop, these spreadsheets are stored on your Google Drive. Additionally, your team can collaborate all in one file so more than one person can create, edit, and manage your data from their own internet connected device. Now that we've covered a refresher on reference data and Google Sheets, why is this integration so important? Well, Marrying the power of auto population and the collaborative aspects of Google Sheets, uploading, maintaining, and refreshing your data instantly becomes more streamlined. Firstly, this integration comes standard with your GoCanvas subscription, so you don't need to upgrade or pay anything extra to use this powerful tool. Secondly, the process of keeping your data up to date is so incredibly simple and fast, you will be able to make changes to your file big or small, and simply press a button to update the reference data for all of your users. This button eliminates the multiple time-consuming steps of editing and re-uploading a CSV file. This is especially fabulous when you notice a small typo that can be corrected and resynced to your account within seconds rather than minutes. Thirdly, files up to 20 megabits are supported by this integration, which is a big improvement on the one megabit file limit for CSV uploads. Just like with CSV files, Google Sheets can also be divided by user groups. Finally, with Google Sheets, collaboration becomes second nature. As stated before, when a reference data file is created with Excel, the original file lives only on one person's desktop. Other designers and admins can download the file from GoCanvas to their desktop to make changes, but then that creates several versions of that file spread across several desktops. With Google Sheets, the original file is kept up to date no matter how many people are making updates. Please note that this integration does work with team drives with some caveats. Google team drives do not automatically appear in sheets. In order for the file to appear as a choice for reference data, you must share the file to yourself from the shared drive. Essentially, any file that you have on your own sheets account is accessible to this integration regardless of who originated the file. Another quick note. Files from a shared drive will not show the owner when choosing the file, so don't be alarmed if the column is empty in this circumstance. Now that we understand the importance of this integration, let's do a quick demo of authorizing a Google account and adding a reference data file from Google Sheets. For this example, I have put together a few mock reference data files, but as I mentioned before, there are so many applications for using reference data. A few common but by no means only use cases include customer lists, employee lists, and pricing lists. In order to add reference data from Google Sheets, you will need to go to the reference data and images tab in your GoCanvas account. Click the button add reference data and choose the radio button labeled import from Google Sheets, and then hit the blue next button. The first time you add a Google Sheet, you will need to authorize your account, and a pop-up will ask your permission to authorize the import from Google Sheets. 
you'll choose the account from the list and hit allow. Next, you will be given a list of the sheets in your account and you can search for the file you are looking for. From this page, select the radio button for the file you want and hit import. The next step only appears if the file chosen has more than one sheet and you will be asked to pick one. Next, you will be given the option to edit your file name and description in GoCanvas. We recommend at least editing the description so that your files stay organized in your account. But changing the file name in GoCanvas does not change the name in Google Sheets and does not impact GoCanvas's ability to refresh data from Google Sheets. If the sheet chosen has more than 15 columns, you will be asked if you want to proceed with the upload of only the first 15 columns or if you wish to cancel the upload. You will still get an error if you try to upload a file from Excel with more than 15 columns. After saving, you will see all the uploaded files on your reference data and images tab. If there are any changes to the Google Sheet, simply click the file name on the reference data page Then click Resync Data to automatically update the file in GoCanvas. And that's it. I hope it is clear how quick and easy this process is. In order to encourage applying this knowledge while it's fresh in your head, we would love for you to transition an existing reference data file to Google Sheets. If you have not ventured into reference data, I welcome you to challenge yourself to create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets and practice adding it to your account. Additionally, if you are an advanced reference data user and want to explore additional integrations, I welcome you to check out Zapier, a third party online integration software. Using Zapier, you can create simple trigger integrations or zaps that will create an automated conversation between GoCanvas and other softwares like Google Sheets. If you're interested in learning more about this, we have a professional services team that can assist you or you can implement this all on your own. Before I wrap up this presentation, there are a few important notes that I would like to clarify. The first thing I want to point out are the icons that are used to denote the file source. In this screenshot, the green arrow is pointing to the icon for Google Sheets, which looks like a little window. And the blue arrow is pointing to the icon for CSV files, which is an X on a piece of paper, similar to the Excel icon. These icons are found in the reference data and images tab. Next, Reference data from Google Sheets can only be added from the Reference Data and Images tab, not from within the App Builder. Also, changes made in Google Sheets have to be resynced by pressing the Resync Data button in the upper right corner of the Reference Data and Images tab. For your security, GoCanvas employees do not have access to your Google account and cannot edit your reference data. And finally, you may need to reauthenticate your Google account if it expires, and you may need to add a file again if you rename or change the location of the file. I hope this clarifies some commonly asked questions, but please be sure to check out our Help Center for more information. Well, last thing I want to go over with everyone is our resources. So after this presentation, you're going to be getting a follow-up email from me with a link to our Help Center article about our Google Sheets integration. And that is also something that's just available for you if you have more questions. And there are other articles on the Help Center as well that Lauren has um, nicely curated for us that are really helpful in other areas of GoCanvas. Um, other than that, with our support team, if you guys ever have questions, always feel free to submit a ticket to them. And that link will also be in the email. So we just wanna say thank you guys so much for attending with us today. This has been really fun. Hope you found it helpful and have a great rest of your day.